It's uh, my honor and privilege to uh, represent uh, the president and his campaign uh, and share a few thoughts with you. Uh, I think it's uh, obvious to all of us that in just two short months, we, our country is going to have a clear and critical choice to make in this election. It is not uh, just the choice, frankly, between uh, two candidates. For the American people, it is a choice between two distinct paths and two distinct energy paths for our country. And it is a choice that will determine our energy future for decades uh, to come. Since taking office, President Obama has taken an all of the above approach to increase our energy production and independence and bolster our clean energy economy. He's doing this by developing America's many, many energy resources, including natural gas, which is obviously uh, front and center in this region and quite appropriately so, but also clean coal, wind, solar, oil, and biofuels, while investing in clean energy and increasing fuel efficiency standards to reduce our dependence on foreign oil and create jobs right here in America. Under the President's watch, U.S. crude oil production is at the highest level in 14 years. Let me say that again. It's at the highest level in 14 years. After literally decades of declining oil production, uh, that has turned and we are now seeing significant annual increases in U.S. domestic oil production. And as a result of that, plus the energy efficiency and some of the biofuels that are coming into the marketplace, U.S. dependence on foreign oil is at a 20-year low. That's an enormous accomplishment. Moreover, more coal miners were employed last year than at any time in the last 15 years. Coal exports are at record levels. Employment in the mining industry right here in Pennsylvania is up 9% under this president's watch. And the Obama administration is making the largest investment ever in clean coal technology, more than $3 billion, which is very important to the future of that industry. After decades of gridlock, President Obama reached an agreement with automakers to nearly double our auto mileage standards by 2025, which will save nearly four times more oil by the end of the, this decade than Mitt Romney's drilling policy on certain sensitive lands and expanded offshore areas. An independent estimate has said these new fuel standards will create up to 500,000 new jobs. President Obama has made critical investments in our renewable energy uh, resources as well. Electricity generation from wind and solar has more than doubled. He has tripled investments in clean energy, bringing smart grids, energy efficiency, electric cars, and renewable power to communities across the country, including right here in Pennsylvania, where I know the operating engineers have been working on wind farms, and where I know the steel workers represent uh, workers at the Gamesa facility in Evansburg. Uh, 